Morning folks, Monday's coffee with Job. Uh, coming to you from a just an area I found just when I was walking around. Uh, recording this very early in the morning because I'm heading off to Redeemer Baptist School in North Parramatta to speak at their 200th anniversary. So I uh, can't be late for that one. I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, we're in Job chapter 25. Then Bildad the Shuhite replied, Dominion and all belong to God. He establishes order in the heights of heaven. Can his forces be numbered? On whom does his light not rise? How then can a mortal be righteous before God? How can one born of woman be pure? If even the moon is not bright and the stars are not pure in his eyes, how much less a mortal who's but a maggot, a human being who's only a worm? Mm. I remember being at a prayer meeting just after I'd become a Christian as a teenager in Tain and being quite am amused at this man who stood up and prayed, Lord, you know, thou art holy, etc., etc. Um, I am but a worm, just a maggot, you know. And after the prayer meeting, I went up to him and said, hi, worm. And uh, he was not amused. You know, sometimes we say things that we think are humble and we don't really mean them. I think what Bildad is doing here, it's kind of a retreat. He's running out of arguments. So he goes to the greatness of God. Can God's forces be counted? He's saying, God is so great, what do you matter? God is great, so great that even the moon and the stars are not bright compared with him. The moon only reflects light, uh, much less humanity. The entire human race is unclean. You know, can anyone born of woman be pure? So why should be, you be any different? You're a maggot, you're a worm. Now, you could say this was a great sermon. Majesty, very short, majesty, moon and maggots. Uh, it contains an element of truth and yet it is so wrong. Why? Firstly, it's hardly subtle. Job's condition in chapter 7, verse 5, my body is clothed with worms and scabs, my skin is broken and festering. But you're a maggot, Job. It's irrelevant. It seems relevant, but it's irrelevant. Or it seems reverent, doesn't it, rather? And, but it is irrelevant because it leaves out the possibility of redemption. I don't know if you've read William Golding's The Lord of the Flies or seen the film, but it offers no redemption. Man is no different from the rest of the creation, a maggot. It's the ultimate evolutionary viewpoint. I mean, I've often wondered this. You know, when I go to the school today, th there will be some teenage boys who will push back and argue against me. But it's the selfish gene of view of life. It's Bertrand Russell's, you are a blob of carbon floating from one meaningless existence to another. What makes me different? from any of the vegetation around here, or if there were worms or rats, what makes a human being any different? What makes you different? We're more than just a maggot. That's why I think this, this sermon is basically bankrupt. It's no help, it's useless. It's like a moral crusade which denounces evil and offers no cure. And in some ways, some of the people I greatly admire, like Douglas Murray and Jordan Peterson, and some of the cultural analysts of our culture, they're very good at the analysis, but I'm not sure they have a solution. In fact, often it can just lead to cynicism and despair. I think someone said that Bildad's knowledge of God was all in his head and there was no bleeding heart or no relation to the bleeding hearts of human beings. He's like the person who likes a good discussion about religion, but if it gets too personal, they want out. I think the Bible actually says worse about human beings, but does offer hope. And let me put it this way. You are more than a maggot. Human beings are fearfully and wonderfully made. We're made in the image of God, in the words of the Shorter Catechism, in knowledge, righteousness, and holiness. There is, we have a moral responsibility. That's why we are judged. We, have a, we, we are made in the image of God. We are much more than a maggot. We are much more than a worm. There is human dignity. How can one born of woman be pure? Well, 
Jesus, we are, we are human beings are dignified because we're made in the image of God, but we're also dignified because the Son of God came as a human being and he was born of a woman and he was pure. I think the Christian position is so much different. I remember a man uh, in Chelmsford in a, in a cafe where I was doing a talk and he stood up at the end and I, I, I mean, I'll never forget it because he just, I think I've told you this before, but it still amazes me. He opened up his shirt and had a big A on it. And he said, who are you? I said, what do you mean? I, I, I'm a Presbyterian minister from Scotland. Is that what you're trying to say? And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But more than that, you're one of 6 billion people on a tiny planet in a vast universe. And the answer to, to that is very simple. From the atheistic materialist point of view, I'm but a maggot. I'm nothing. But in the eyes of God, he's, I'm somebody who he sent his son, who gave himself for me, who loved me. There's just so much value and dignity in that. So if you're feeling like a maggot, remember, if you're a Christian, you're a child of the redeemed. Remember, if you're not a Christian, you can become a child of God. God bless you and see you tomorrow.